Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we talk about employee training, we absolutely have to talk specifically to employees about the management and handling of the cash that they bring in for the company. It's also a good time to talk gently about the concept of theft. We have to think about this as a corporation. Every company is different about how they feel about this, but it's sort of important to kind of put in the anal stipulations so that employees don't take advantage of us. So here we go. Uh, now that we've kind of wrapped up our training about what you need for your life being an employee and what your hopes and uh, aspirations are and what our customers need from you as an employee in the service of them, what our corporation expects and deserves for employing you, we want to talk a little bit about employee behavior. When you come here, we expect you to, of course, be in your marvelous uniform, whatever that might be. At the same time, we expect you to be very clean in your appearance, with your um, teeth brushed, obviously, your hair brushed, and uh, your clothes, not rumpled, but not necessarily pressed, but clean. We also know that in a restaurant, smells do travel and they do come into clothes, so we encourage you to pick a really good oxidative kind of uh, shampoo for your clothing and whatnot that is called laundry detergent. And if you need a couple uniforms, we have that opportunity where you could have one or two uniforms that you rent for us or uh, what, whatever your company does. What I'd like to talk to you about is the handling and management of money. You have to understand that every dime you take into our restaurant belongs to the company. So no matter what someone provides you, you are responsible for carefully counting that money in, making sure it covers the bill, using a split tender capability if their cash is not enough or if the customer wants to use partial credit card and partial cash to pay for the bill. You also have to know how to use some American Express checks that might be given to you by travelers. And in those cases, you have to double check with your supervisor or manager that our drawers can cover any overages or extra money in cashback situations. We don't generally give customers cash back, but we can. And if we do, it's usually 10 or $20, not a lot more than that, because that can deplete our cash resources for the, cu for the customer. It also puts us at risk for people who like to panhandle or peddle and that what they do is they try to give you money and then they try and get it back and all of a sudden your drawer becomes short because they've confused you about the money that you have held in your hands. So we have to be cautious of that and we'll talk about those traders and those manipulators. But what I'm saying to you is once you've carefully counted the cash into the drawer, your responsibility is you're very carefully looking at the cash that is due back and very carefully returning back immediately to the customer their cash back. We encourage you to put the change in the customer's hands. Not at all. We, what we want you to do is put the bills across the customer's hand. And if you can count it back to them, that's always best because it makes sure that you didn't accidentally snag two extra bills that you didn't mean to and you didn't short them. At the same time, then you place the change on top of those bills and then they can take it back into their wallet, their purse, their change purse, however they carry their cash. It could be a bag for all of them which is sort of popular amongst different types of trades. But in time, you will grow accustomed to handling money. And the handling of money is also sort of the handling of filthy money because everybody knows that money can be dirty because sometimes people find change on the pavement, change on the sidewalk. So outside of handling money, you have to be careful of handling money versus handling food. If for a restaurant where there's a waiter and a tray, then the handling of money is really hit more onto the edge of the plate and the tray itself. So we want you to know that we always welcome you to stop when you feel that your fingers are dirty from what you've handled to wash your hands. To visit the lavatory quickly and efficiently to wash your hands, check your face, make sure your hair is in place and come back to your space where you're working. 